January 1st, midnight. Roads brightly lit, buildings ablaze with thousands of lights. January 1st, that time of the year that does justice to one of the most widely used materials on Earth, glass. One tonne of glass requires on average 220 kilos of soda ash. And soda ash is one of the core activities of the Solvay group. Eighteen sixty three. Twenty five year old Ernest Solvay, a self taught Belgian chemist, developed a revolutionary process manufacturing soda ash via the ammonia route. To exploit this process, Ernest and Alfred Solvay, together with a handful of friends, set up a factory at Couille near Charleroi in Belgium. This marked the starting point of a great adventure. In the following years, Ernest Solvay set up more factories all over Europe. For each of them, he chose an ideal site close to the necessary raw materials. Near a salt, or limestone deposit. Today the Solvay group is still the world's largest producer of soda ash, both synthetic and natural. February 15th, 8 o'clock in the morning, in the highest region of Belgium. Solvay is one of the largest producers of de-icing compounds, salt and calcium chloride. Calcium chloride. Beginning in 1869, Ernest Solvay used the chlorinated effluents from the manufacture of soda ash to produce calcium chloride. And in 1898, he started producing caustic soda by the electrolysis of salt. But that's not all. Electrolysis of salt also produces hydrogen and chlorine. Ernest Solvay, following his own logic, capitalized upon the use of this chlorine. In this way, starting from a basic production technology, the production of soda ash, Solvay's alkali sector, oldest sector in the group, has offered since the very beginning an extensive range of products which are still in use today in a wide number of areas. Salt is used in de-icing, in the food industry, in water softening, and many other areas. Calcium chloride is used as an additive for concrete to freeze the earth in certain kinds of underground work and as an anti-dust agent. Caustic soda is used for textiles, paper pulp, aluminium, detergents. Chlorine is used for disinfecting public and private water supplies and for dry cleaning. March 21st, a photo shooting session in the advertising industry. Spring decor, romantic models, dazzling white dresses. Here too, Solvay is discreetly but efficiently present. With its second sector, peroxygens. Since 1958, Solvay has used hydrogen, a byproduct of salt electrolysis, for the manufacture of peroxygens. Hydrogen peroxide, sodium perborate.
ever since, Solvay has developed this activity throughout the world and has become the first world producer of peroxygen chemicals. The application of peroxygen chemicals are multifarious, ranging from pulp and textiles bleaching to the manufacture of detergents. Right now, some 19 production facilities are operating throughout the world. And peroxygens are used in many more areas to protect marine environment, an area of increasing concern for the public authorities in a number of seabordering nations. Solve is there to help them with products and technology developed for treating polluted water. Here in the United Kingdom, the harbour basins at Birkenhead have been cleaned up with hydrogen peroxide. Solve is also implementing a strategy to encourage the use of this kind of product through customer information campaigns. Keeping the customer informed a constant Solve concern and conversely, Solve wants to know its customers better to recognize their needs and understand their problems to propose solutions which closely meet their expectations. An example. May the 10th, springtime, the ideal time for construction and restoration work. For this house, new window frames, designed by Solve to meet the needs of customers looking for a new kind of window frame. Economical, lightweight, weatherproof, and able to withstand the sun without fading. This is what Solvay's engineers have come up with. A PVC window frame, made of Solvay PVC. Did Ernest Solvay ever dream that chlorine, derived from salt electrolysis, would become, less than 30 years after his death, the starting point of a new and gigantic breakthrough for the group into another industrial sector. Plastics. It was in 1949 that the plastics adventure began for the Solvay group with the manufacture of PVC, followed by high-density polyethylene and polypropylene. An adventure making Solvay present in every facet of life, bringing its plastics into our daily contact. June 1st, 10.30 a.m. Meet Léon, one of Solvay's 3,000 employees doing research throughout the world. Léon is leaving Solvay Research and Technologies on the edge of the Belgian capital on his way to the Brussels airport. The dashboard and interior trim of his car are made of Solvay plastics. The automotive industry is a heavy user of plastics. An average of 70 kilos of plastics go into a modern car. 11 o'clock, Brussels airport. In less than one hour, Léon is taking off for Texas. The United States. Solve has established and maintains a strong and successful presence in the country with polyethylene and polypropylene production plants. These American plants are amongst the dozen or so plastic production facilities set up by Solve throughout the world in a time span of less than 40 years. Solve research people travel regularly to the various production units within the group. Whether in Deer Park, Texas, Santo Andre in Brazil, or Rosignano in Italy, scientists come to tell of and discuss their work on continuing improvements to manufacturing processes and product quality. This is Mark, another Solvay scientist. His research subject, special polymers. He's just arrived at the Tavo factory in France, which specializes in the production of high-value-added specialty polymers 
which are used in very specific conditions. Some examples, barrier packaging for the food industry to prevent the transmission of gas and vapors for example, pharmaceutical packaging, optical fiber sleeves and components for the electronics industry able to withstand temperatures of 200 degrees Celsius. The development of such technical resins requires large teams of high level scientists constantly working on highly sophisticated subjects. July 5th, in Solvay Research and Technologies. The Solvay spirit breezes through here. From the start, Ernest Solvay realized the vital necessity of constant research by high-level scientists. Self-taught, Solvay was fascinated by knowledge of all kinds, in widely differing fields. His rapidly expanding industrial empire allowed him occasionally to put aside his business concerns and think the secrets of the universe. He met the leading scientists of the time and succeeded in bringing together in Brussels these eminent scientists. Look at this photo, the Solvay Council of Physics, dating from 1911. They're all here, Planck, Rutherford, Poincaré, De Broglie, Marie Curie, Einstein. Eight Nobel Prize laureates, a member of the Academy of Sciences and a member of the Académie Française. Yes, this document still remains as we move into the 21st century a genuine symbol for all Solvay research people. It is research in high value added sectors which has enabled Solvay to propose novel solutions in leading edge fields such as electronics. For example, this process for manufacturing ultra-pure fluids used in the production of chips. This is how Solvay contributes to the production of increasingly miniaturized electronic circuits for computers of increasingly high performance. Computers which, in turn, are used by Solvay computer experts in further research work. thus closing the loop. That's what we mean when we talk about a progress-oriented company. July 25th, Athens. This stadium with a seating capacity of 50,000 spectators was built just a few years ago. The waterproof roof membranes were made from Alcaflex, a product developed by Solvay's processing sector. This sector was created in the 50s. The development of the processing sector has just led Solvay to fine-tune its know-how in the field of resins, in turn enabling it to better meet its customers' needs. This processing activity is apparent in a number of sectors. For example, pipes, industrial films, PVC corrugated products, construction and interior decoration products, automotive components, and finally, packaging. It's now August in a large supermarket. The appearance of various PVC and polyethylene packages has made life a lot easier for supermarket chains. It's in an environment like this that we become aware of how Solvay is constantly present in our daily life. Yes, Solvay products are everywhere. Yet at the same time, Solvay researchers have also developed products for very specific applications.
September 3rd, in an operating theatre in an Amsterdam hospital. The vinyl resins of these blood pouches meet the very stringent sterile conditions imposed by the medical profession. These highly specialized products are manufactured by the Draca Pulver Factory in the Netherlands. Here once more, Solve demonstrates its ability to adapt to the needs of a very specialized clientele. October 15th. Every year, hundreds of thousands of tourists come to admire the world's largest wooden building, the Buddhist temple of Todai in Japan. A few years ago, the temple was saved from destruction by the patient and determined work of restoration specialists, including the wood with xylemon. This wood preservative is one of a series of specialty products developed by the processing sector for the building industry. November. She's just received a kitten for her birthday. Who's vaccinated by the vet. In industrialized countries, it's estimated there is one cat for every inhabitant. Almost the same number of dogs that amount to the number of pets. Hence the importance of a careful health program for both animals and humans. As a line and major supplier of best products for the pharmaceutical industry, Solve decided in the 60s to acquire He had a strong footing in this field. Since then, Solve's fifth sector, health, has not stopped growing. And it has become one of the world's top 50 producers of pharmaceuticals, with a significant presence also in the field of animal health. years now, Albay has specialized in the area of vaccines and therapeutic products for dogs, cats, horses, pigs, and poultry. European farmers have been unanimous in recognizing that sodium bicarbonate, a solvay product, provides an ideal acid base balance when added to cattle feed. It's where consumption of one constantly, Solvay Animal Health is one of the major producers of vaccines for pigs, turkeys, and chicken. Today, thanks to subsidiaries in all four corners of the world, like Solve du Far, Solve Pharma Deutschland, and Solve Pharmaceuticals, Solve offers specialty products aimed at treating, amongst others, cardiovascular diseases, ailments of the central nervous system, spinal problems, difficulties, obstetric and gynecological medications, anti-rheumatic medicines, and products for the field of immunology. Finally, a new antidepressant, fluvoxamine, has been approved in countries. The third sector, the bio and pharma intermediate section, brings together vitamin D, of which Solve is the largest world producer, cholesterol, and phytosanitary products. Here again, Solve is putting its money in the only viable path, research, in internationally coordinated research. Such as research into genetic engineering with a team of American, German, Dutch and Belgian scientists. December 15th, a snowy landscape. A to respect nature has always been at the roots of the Solvay Group, creating a constructive environmental protection policy for the sake of our common survival. 
This activity is being undertaken in collaboration with public authorities in a number of countries, as well as with industrial associations set up to deal with these issues. They has developed its own environmental technologies. Mediated decomposition of nitrates in water and the treatment of gaseous effluents from industry. The development once again emphasizes one of Solvay's major concerns that of providing innovative solutions in the widest possible range of funds through its industrial resources. This spirit of innovation is present in each of Solvay's five sectors. Alkalis, peroxygens. Plastics, processing, and finally, health. But in order to the spirit of innovation and dynamism within such a large group, it's important for information to circulate freely and well. A policy of information flow and of constant needing of employees at all levels is there essential. This information and training aspect is only one element in Solvay's overall which gives priority to skill, flexibility, and ability. But personnel mobility automatically brings respect for the different countries in which the corporate operates. Countries in which Solvay is making every effort to be a good corporate citizen. Respect the neighbor, the essential value in a country with about 5,000 employees. In 37 countries, in Europe, in North America, America, and also in Asia. December 31st, brightly lit roads, buildings sparkling with thousands of lights. It's party time. And the Solvay are celebrating the new year in their own way. Yet, in the silence of the night, they too have their memories. Just listen carefully. They will tell you the story of the stubborn determination of a man who, in 1863, laid the foundation of what was to become an empire and the courage of those who worked with him and have followed him. I'll tell you about the spirit of innovation of thousands of men and women who, for 129 years, have contributed today to cultivate Solvay's key concept, a concept which has enabled us to attain our present position on the world map. A passion for progress.